So there are some of you out there who are not aware of the owl situation, but several months back, I made a video discussing um, what appears to be some sort of bizarre situation with that has to do with me seeing this massive white owl everywhere I go. And when I say everywhere, I mean absolutely everywhere. I've been seeing it for about the past two years uh, within a 50 mile radius. I've seen this owl fly right by me, literally right by my front door at my house. Look me straight in the eyes, two feet away from me. Massive white owl with a gigantic wingspan that I could only describe as being probably four feet long. Oversized, to say the least. This owl I've seen at work at all the various places I worked at in the last two years. All over the city. I've seen it all the way down south, all the way down north. This same massive white owl. Not to mistake it for um, a regular barn owl. I know all the species of owl that live in the area. I know what they look like. I've seen the regular owls that live in this area. I've seen those as well. And they're usually small, brown, little owls that hoot and sit there. This owl is not normal at all. And I'm going to discuss my recent visit from the owl that just happened the other day. Which is peculiar because before yesterday, the last time I saw it was probably around two months ago or so. And this incident was special because right before I saw the owl, there was a massive series of alarms going off. And one of the buildings at the massive property complex I work at, we had a series of alarms going off. And... Um, they were going off for a long time and, and the fire and the firemen came and they couldn't turn it off for some reason. And there was an interesting number, a couple of numbers associated with that. The area of the property is known as area 113. And then the fire engine number was number 33. And uh, I've, been, I've been seeing that number a lot lately, 113, associating it with election day. And that includes other numbers I've been seeing a lot for months and months, as long as I've been seeing this owl, which is 666 and 911, and also 911 2, 9112 to be more specific. The number of 911s that I see on a daily basis is an absolutely impossible coincidence. Um, it cannot possibly be by chance that I would see this number so often in very odd. It's almost as if my eyes would turn automatically on purpose to see it. Anywho, um, I believe that these numbers are associated with the owl who is warning me of something. It's warning me and it's guiding me, guiding us towards something. Do I believe that this owl is giving me a personal message? Yes. Is it good or bad? It's neither. It's guiding me and it's warning me. It, there is an element of it that is very ominous and very, very strange. Any, let me get to what happened after the alarm. So they turn off the alarm and I drive down a little bit into this dark area of the property and it's over here on my left right on my left shoulder the white owl flies by it flies away I see it flying away to my left I drive around I go back up a hill and it flies over my head and it's and it creak it screeches very loud over my head and it flies by twice and this is the first time that I've ever seen it fly by twice in, in, in a span of a few minutes like that. Usually it would circle around or it would just fly past me. I've had it fly right past my windshield several times. 
I've had it fly above my head several times. And of course, the, the most in your face encounter was right by my house. And one time at work, there was two times when it looked at me directly in the eyes. And one time was at work. And one time was when I was right by my door. And when I say by my door, right by my front door, this owl was looking at me. Having said that, is it warning me about election day? Is it warning me about upcoming events? Uh, have what have what we've seen so far in 2020 is it just a warm up? It, it's a strange year, okay. Every year we see disaster, okay. Every year there's catastrophe. This year feels so much different because it's almost like in, it's in this rigid, sequential order of catastrophe that is like pre-planned and timed. That and, and it feels like there's supposed to be a grand finale to all of this warm-up. Like they're setting up the stage for something way bigger. And I feel in my heart that this is what the owl was warning me about. What exactly that is, I don't know. It could be a third world war, which they've been toying and playing around with for God knows how long. Screwing with our heads with these... Uh, stupid incidences that don't make any sense of killing generals and attacking oil tankers and, and now they're seizing oil tankers and all this ridiculous stuff is just like a little bruise in the play before they set it off. Could it be something else? Is it, so, is it something associated with my spirit, with my spiritual development and where I'm going next. That's what I feel as well, is that this owl is guiding me to the next level, to the next incarnation, to the next afterlife, whatever it might be. But it's serious, but it's also beautiful and it's good because it's showing me a path that I'm taking. It's guiding me along a path. Now, here's the big question. After a lot of thinking, I spent the whole day yesterday thinking if this was a legitimately a, a physical owl that is just simply by some kind of one in a trillion chance that I somehow see it fly around all over the place and I just by accident and I keep seeing this damn owl and it's just a regular old owl and it's just all coincidence. No. Nope. I don't think that's possible. And not, I'm even going to go farther and say that I don't think it's a physical owl. I don't think it's a real physical living, breathing owl. I think that this is some kind of a supernatural being masquerading itself as an owl. I have several reasons to believe this, and this is very valid and I'm not crazy. First off, look up the species of owl. I live in San Diego County. Look up the species of owl that live in this area. They are not that large. They are not that white, unless it's an albino. It's usually They're usually gray or brown barn owls that live here. And they're usually pretty small or, or medium-sized birds. They don't have a massive four-foot wingspan. Um, they, don't, they don't have pure white fur, feathers. When I say white, I don't mean there's touches of gray. I've seen this thing often enough to where I could say it's completely white. The fact that it looked at me directly in the eyes... All of these things point to something supernatural, in my opinion. And this is what I'm going to ask you next. Do you think that's what it is? If so, I would like to know what your opinion is on why I've been seeing this owl for about the past two years. What do you think is going on? I know owl sightings are associated with UFO abductions. There's a man called Mike Cleland that talks about this subject. 
I know that white owls are a Native American folklore. I don't think it's necessarily associated with any of that. I think it's more personal, but I want to know what you think. If anybody could reply to this in the comments, I'd be really grateful. Thank you.